I grew up in, in uh, Cuba, in a small town. Um, I think my past is always in my work, in, in one way or another. In Cuba, you'll see a, a bright red car, you know, a Chevy, and, and say another, a Ford drive by, a cerulean blue, and then a yellow house behind it. So if you look at my work, it's in very intense colors. Why, uh, why I work in, in news and political art? Why do people wake up in the morning and, 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 and drink juice or why do you drink water? It's, it's just, uh, to me, it's normal. It's what I've lived with my entire life. I think every artist has something that they wake up to and, and that inspires them and gets them going. I wake up to, to read what the news is. I think it is that, that idea that I always feel um, someone is being victimized, someone's being uh, um, taken advantage of, and I, and I feel like I need to speak about that. A lot of people say, what's the purpose? Why am I going to make posters? Why am I going to... It's not going to change anyone's mind. And that's not why I make art. It's not to change someone's mind. It's just to say, hey, this is wrong. Someone was there saying this was wrong. You have proof. You have a poster. You have something that you can look at going, not everyone was, was with this, you know. You just stand up for what's correct and what you feel is right. You put it out there, you let people learn from it. And maybe it takes 10 years or 20 years for people to understand what you were talking about, but uh, it's important to do it.